This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Now, you may recall that back in February, a good friend of mine called Colin loaned me a budget twin humbucker Telecaster style guitar from Artist Guitars, the TC59. Um, I did a video on it and I was quite impressed with it. And I said in that video that I was probably going to uh, end up getting one myself. And the only thing that stopped me over the last four months or thereabouts uh, grabbing one is that they are perpetually out of stock. And, um, well, they're finally back in stock and there's one in this box. So, cue the music. Go on, Okay then, so here it is. Uh, it's not a bad looking little uh, guitar, is it really? Um, these things cost £169 with free shipping from Artist Guitars. I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, I'll also link down there the um, the original review video I did when Colin loaned me uh, his one of these. Uh, I'm not going to be doing a, basically a duplicate of that video if you're interested in seeing a full review like widths and measures and neck profiles and you know pickup readings and all that sort of stuff as I say go and check out that video no sense in doing the same video twice really but just there is a reason I've got this guitar and we'll come to that um, but let's have a look at what you get for your £169 you get locking machine heads and a bone nut uh, maple neck obviously 22 sort of medium jumbo frets um, with a 12 inch fretboard radius, a nice C profile neck, uh, quite a modern feeling neck, um, but you know, it, it, it feels a lot like um, kind of a modern sort of fender y kind of neck, really. Uh, the only thing that does make it uh, obvious that this is a budget guitar is the frets are quite uh, scratchy feeling, but five minutes with one of these, a crimson guitar fret eraser will soon put that right. Down here at the bridge, we have um, kind of a, a, a modern Telecaster bridge, obviously with a humbucker-sized hole in it. Uh, six individual chrome-plated brass saddles. A pair of um, artist bullbucker pickups. We're going to talk about those in a moment. Uh, Three-way pickup selector and volume and tone. And the tone control is also a coil split for the humbuckers. So... Uh, why did I buy this guitar then? Um, well, um, because I wanted one, but I wanted um, a guitar to um, to do some modding on, and again, we'll come to that in a moment. Straight out the box, as I say, quite scratchy, uh, gritty feeling frets, but that's easily sorted. Um, nut is uh, really nicely cut, doing the old Phil McKnight thing of pressing down on the third fret and you know going to the first fret. There is just the tiniest hint of a gap there. Um, you know, so it's it's a pretty well cut nut. Truss rod again, just doing this sort of quick and dirty uh, way of, of checking the truss rod. Uh, fret at the first fret and the last fret, and then reach over to the twelfth and see what sort of clearance you've got. Again, um, you know, just a, a hair's breadth there. So just just for me, the right amount of neck relief dialed in. Um, and um yeah so it, it's set up really nicely and it's um you know it's lovely satin finish on this maple neck gloss finish on the body um you know it it ticks a lot of boxes um the one box it doesn't really tick for me is the pickups uh the original review i did of colin's guitar um these bullbucker pickups are just far too dark sounding and um you know, kind of hot sounding. Uh, apparently, it's rumoured, it's reputed that these pickups are based on a Seymour Duncan JB and a Seymour Duncan Jazz. Um, I seem to remember the bridge pickup had a reading somewhere in excess of 14k, and that is just a massive 
big old chunky uh, hector of a pickup that's not really to my taste we're going to hear what it sounds like in a moment um but what i'm going to be doing with this guitar is i'm going to be using it as a test bed for um some pickups i've been curious about trying for a while these are iron gear tesla shark pickups and basically if you take the last three letters of tesla and the first two letters of shark you get s l a s h which kind of tells you roughly what sort of tone you can expect from these these are apparently um you know based on the seymour duncan alnico pro 2 pickups that slash was a, a big fan of for many years in fact you know on the back of here it says um it says grab those aviator shades and top hat uh you know so it, it's um it's making no bones about what kind of pickups they are uh, that they're aping there so they will be replacing these uh artist bull booker pickups so if you're in the market for a pair of pickups that um you know have that sort of seymour duncan jb and jazz kind of uh, kind of thing going on and uh, well just get in touch and maybe we can come to some sort of arrangement tell you what let's have a listen to what these pickups sound like i'm currently plugged in to the marshall dsl1 uh, on the classic gain channel with the volume maxed out and i'm just going to be um, controlling the amount again from the guitar's volume control so <coughs> excuse me uh, let's put it into full humbucker mode bridge pickup volume control all the way up and hear what kind of noises it makes Do you see what I mean about the, the the dark sounding pickups? That is like you know, um, it's it's almost like the tone control is rolled off. And if we take a look at the settings on the amp again, um, you can see the treble is um, pretty much three quarters the way on. Uh, so it's not uh, any kind of uh, darkness that's dialed in on the amp. This is very much the pickups doing. Uh, let's hear how uh, the, that kind of tone cleans up with the volume control. So you can hear, there's my phone going off, you can hear that there is, um, you know, it does clean up nicely and you can get quite a warm, um, you know, almost Gibson-y sort of sound out of uh, what's going on here. Um, but it doesn't, it, it, it lacks any of that kind of Telecaster uh, kind of uh, bite. Let's see if splitting the coils uh, does anything to uh, remedy that. So again, um, just... Bridge pickup, single coil mode. I've got the volume control dialed kind of down for a cleany sort of sound. Let's see what happens. So again, it's you can tell that you've um, that you've gone out of humbucker mode and gone to something a little bit uh, more single coil like, but it still doesn't have that kind of um, snap or twang that you know I would I would really kind of like out of this. And um, well, hopefully that's where this uh, slightly more vintage sounding set of pickups will come in. As I say, the bridge pickup here, the bull bridge bull book bull bucker um is about 14 point something k dc resistance the tesla shark uh bridge pickup is um about eight and a half k so that's going to be more in the kind of ballpark that that i find that 
is to my taste. So there you go. So that's what's going to be happening to this guitar. I'm going to go and uh, get the soldering iron warmed up now and uh, start swapping pickups out. And then there'll be a, a full video about the Iron Gear Tesla Sharks uh, coming up at some point. Uh, but for now, that's the video for today. Hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and found it um, you know, informative in some small way. And if that's the case, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. I want to drop me a like while you're at it. Don't forget, as always, the live stream every Friday 5pm UK time where we drink beer and talk music and guitars great way to kick off the weekend I'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now